Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Right. So, before we were, before we are able to create the EIB, we need to talk about the source of data, which is the report. Right. So let me quickly create a custom report. Okay. And I will use the name, which is www, and let's call it as employee. Details report. Okay. It's an advanced report, and the data source that I will use is workers for HCM reporting. All right. Uncheck this. Click OK. I will add a few fields very, very quickly. So like workers. OK. And what else? Let's add the manager level 01. And this one we will make as Manager. Here we will say location. Primary position. Location. Primary position. So we call it as location. What else did we had? I think we had the name of the job profile. Right. And what else? I think we had the compensation grade. And I think we had length of service. Okay. And we do remember that we have to enable this as a web service, correct? Because if we do not do that, we will not be able to use it as a source of data in an EIB. And any prompts that are there, we have to define that, otherwise it will throw an error. So contingent worker type. Let's select some value. Let's say, yeah everything. All the contingent workers, employee type may be specified default value, all the worker types, and worker types basically. Let's include all the worker types. That's contingent worker as well as employee. And I do not want to prompt this at runtime. That's it all right done. We have created our first report. Okay. So let's run this report quickly and see what it oh. What happened? Let me just go and check at it. Let me remove this. I mean the values and prompts. I think we don't need it anyway. No default value. Let's choose no default value. And here also no default value. And we do not prompt at runtime. Write any filters. All active workers. We are looking at all active workers. So let's see run. Right, so we have around 645 different workers as part of the system. So that is what we are looking at right. So now we will create an EIB with this. So what was the task? To create an EIB again. Create EIB. Very simple, straightforward. Create EIB. 
so we had named it like INPWW. And then we had called it as EIB, then employee details, and we had set outbound. So outbound, and in the get data section, we have to use our custom report. Thankfully, we have made it as a web service enabled. So we could use it. And yesterday, we saw that we could use an alternate output format, isn't it? So let's use CSE as our alternate output format. And then in the transform, let's not do it for the first run in the delivery. Let's have workday attachment. That is fine. We will retain it for 20 days and we will give it a name, worker details. Right. This is the file name and we will click on next and okay. Right. So we have created this. And then does anyone remember how we created dynamic file names for this particular integration? What was the task again? How to do it? Okay. Let me tell you one more time. ID definition. Okay, it is called ID definition. Create ID definition or a sequence generator. So we created www.eve and then we called it as sequence generator and we had said incremented by one and in the sequence ID format. We had said www employee details. This is the fixed part. Right. And then underscore. And then we were able to use the here. And then month and day. And then we use a sequence number. CSV. Right. This is what we did. Let me click on. OK. So here is a sample sequence that would be generated. WW employee details 2022-0426 underscore zero. Well, this is because it has not been used yet. The first one is zero. I mean the sample one is zero. The first one will be zero plus one. So it will be underscore one. Right. Okay. So let me click on done here. Done. And then, how do we search for an integration system? What is the prefix? INTSYS, INTSYS, and we are looking for the WWEIB EIB. Right. And now I want to use a sequence generator. So what should I do? I'll go to related actions and then enterprise, interface of edit. Then what anybody? We go to the deliver section. In the deliver section, we have to expand the details. And here we have the option for sequence generator. So we have created this sequence generator for ourselves, WWEB sequence generator, and we click OK. Now, if I run this particular integration, let me go to integration and launch. Okay. So how would I get a new file name every time? Do I have to do anything here?
Determine value at runtime. Perfect. What is the value? Next value is next. Next. Right. Research with next. The value is not next. You can say we should search with next. Okay. So it is actually next sequence for integration file utility. So, but yeah, it's you are right. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.